So there is a free streaming platform called Tubi where you can watch a wide variety of movies, some really great movies, some not so great movies, but I love good movies, bad movies, everything in between. This is not a sponsored post, but it could be. So today I'm going to watch the 2016 film The Void. I don't really know what to guess. One word titles are kind of tricky. I'm anticipating something maybe sci-fi with a void, maybe like a black hole, something like that. Maybe it's just very ominous, but I'm anticipating like a sci-fi horror kind of feel to it. I'm not really anticipating like a comedy or, or something like that. This is a relatively newer film. I typically watch films from, you know, the 80s, 90s, anywhere in there. So I'm curious to see what special effects will be used, if there's CGI, a more recent film. I love practical effects, but I know that there's a lot of things that CGI can do. So I'm very curious to see what they will use. I've also seen new movies that use practical effects. But thank you so much for sharing and this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Oh my god, already off to a grim start. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting no credits, no title, nothing right- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Body count is adding up real quick. Cheese and rice. And there was like a triangle on the door when he was running. This is gonna be grim. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh my god, yeah, that's the same black triangle we saw on the door. Cheese and rice. I don't recognize... Oh, Evan Stern, that name, um, I think he's in Letterkenny, if I'm remembering correctly. It's a Canadian, uh, TV show. But yeah, that's the only name so far. Hey, that's the name of the movie. In the middle of a high-speed chase, so this better be important. I just feel so good knowing you're out there keeping us safe. I'm curious if this is a Canadian film, then. What's that about? Who knows? They won't let me do anything around here. Yes! I love that movies keep playing it. I know it's copyright-free, so it's probably why, but still cool. Oh, Jesus. You know... Statistically, you're more likely to die in a hospital than anywhere else. I hate that that's probably true. <laughs> All messed up. Well, uh, in time, would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? It's always the first sign when the lights start flickering and the TV flickers. I was looking for that. Right, it's mine now, so don't you get any ideas. Right. <sighs> this feels like a post-breakup conversation, yeah. What happened? Yeah, okay. And as you know, Daniel, there's nothing worse than losing a child. Oh, gosh, that's horrible. Beverly? Are you okay? <sighs> Something sounds juicy. Oh, my God! She just... Oh, gross. Good night. What's going on with Beverly? Oh, her face is missing. Cheese and rice. This isn't my face. It's somebody's face, bud. No, not. Oh, God. Don't remove your own face. Not me. Who is it? Put the scissors down. Oh, God. With what? Getting a new face? Face off. <gasps> oh, my God. Things are taking a turn. Things are taking a turn real fast. Yep. Good luck explaining that one. Wow, 
what's going on now? Oh my gosh, yeah, like everything is distorted in the mirror. Oh god, what is that a close-up of? Cheese and rice. Some storm is coming for sure. This looks very scary. I'm gonna call it in. No, no, you need to take it easy. There's a state trooper already here. What? How? How did they get here? Well, I'm here now. I'll sort it out. I need to take your firearm. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that. You can't trust the new kid. Dad was a stand-up cop. I wonder what he'd think if he saw this shit show. Just going right for the trauma. Okay. Oh no, this thing is back. I find like in horror movies, like the subtle things are the creepiest. Like someone just standing there Hi. lurking. Yeah, exactly. Oh god, that got me. Uh, oh, frick, the hospital lights. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big knife. Cheese and rice. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh god. Ooh. Right in the badge. Oh my god. Oh. And now there's like 10 of them? Oh my god, they're multiplying. It's reminded me a little bit of Halloween 2, just how like it's, you know, big focus on the hospital. Richard? Oh my god, what was that? Good night. Come here. Kim, I need you to bring me a suture kit and eight milligrams. Oh! <laughs> Definitely no shortage of blood and gore in this. She's frozen. She's panicked. No. Nope. Be useful, kid. Or get lost. Good boy. Hey, hey, Cam, don't let him close his eyes. Hey! Stay awake, hey, Daniel. Stay, stay awake. awake. His eyes are closed. Yeah, he's gone. Oh my gosh. What was that thing crawling out of her mouth? That was creepy, like the reverse triangle. Who are they? I don't know. I wasn't able to get through. You? No. Yeah, it's creepier that they're just standing there. Like, oh my god, do something! Maybe we can uh, barricade the doors or, uh, you know, get out some other way. And not like a grotesque mask or anything, literally just like white with the black triangle. Oh my god, that's what she became? Oh my god, yep. Cheese and rice. Oh my god, it's like growing out of her back. Oh my god, that's so grim. Terrifying, terrifying. I don't even know where to begin. And the sound design is really cool too, just adding like this very creepy element to it. Good night. Oh my god. Yeah, great question. I think there's Beverly. Once was Beverly, yes. The artist formerly known as. Oh my god. I'm really enjoying it. It's super creepy though and super weird. What the fuck no? Oh my god! Well, now you're all screwed. You just stabbed our only doctor in the neck. Oh my god. Ah. Cheese and rice. Body count is like quadrupling by the minute. Ah. And yeah, have this light flickering is like this strobe light effect as this creature's just devouring this guy. Oh my god. And how it's like still part human. Oh, they love the eyes. Good night. It's right for the eyeballs again. At least she's not using. <laughs> oh god. 
It's like, let me be inside your eyes, sockets. Oh! But yeah, how it's grown like completely on her back. Like she still has her human form. Oh my god! It's growing again? That's really cool though. Super gross, but I'm into it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. He was going right for the head. Oh my god. So many chops. God. I'm gonna have to look up who did like special effects on this thing because it's so cool. Oh god. I feel like I'm watching like a Cronenberg film or something. Just like, bleh. Good. Oh, oh my god, lies. Oh, yep, they don't want him to become the next thing. Oh, the sound design is making me very tense. Bye, Mitchell. Blood budget, 12 million. Oh my god, Gurney on fire. They're not there though? Oh my god. They're hoping it's a distraction, but yeah, nobody's going for it. Listen to me. You and your baby are going to be fine. You have my word. There's no way this is gonna end well. Like, even in the best conditions, it sounds like she's already having some difficulties and yeah, adding in the fact that there's no doctor and they're using like makeshift tools and also trying to worry about that guy and the monsters outside. Like, I don't have high hopes. And just because you can't see them doesn't mean they can't see you. Like, oh my gosh. Terrifying. They reminded me a little bit of Scream with the Scream mask, just the black and white contrast, and then having a giant knife also. There's one of them. At least they stand out in the black darkness, because you can just see they're all white costumes. And the doctor is alive! Oh my god. And just the slow panning shot. Whoo, spooky! I don't think that's gonna scare them off. No, what is he trying to do? As they all raise their knives and sink. Oh my gosh. One of them was behind you! I saw it! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh! Keeping the fucking gun. Yeah, no kidding. Cheese and rice. And nobody else seems concerned that they just killed one of their own. Okay. I'm pretty certain you can beat the shit out of me, but I consider it my special privilege. I hate my wife right now, so if you could kindly shut the fuck up. This kind of like reverberating, like repetitive music. Oh, it's not even a cell phone. I thought the phones were out. Okay. Morgue calling. This is your mortality on the line. But I assure you, my intentions are altruistic. Oh my god. What? He's doing some like weird experiments. Oh my god, what is this? Steps, Daniel. Do you really want to follow him where he's gone? Oh, what does that mean? The life inside her desperately clawing to get out. Losing my daughter changed me. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm going to help her. I'm going to help all of you. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's super freaking weird, but I love weird and this doctor is up to no good and 
This guy found some notebook. Yeah, that he's not sharing, but... It'll... Oh, yeah, he's got photos of the triangle. Oh, my God. What is going on? All right, you know what? Make it clean. No, no, please, it is him. It's him, and I killed him. I swear to God, he did you a fucking favor. Yeah, well, he's not dead anymore. How is that possible? How did he come back from life? so creepy like abandoned hospitals are already creepy oh my gosh this was the nursery oh what? this is where the fire was those look like drag marks yeah i think that was allison oh no and having our only light source is this flashlight just adds to another level of creepiness obviously the power's gone out This is something else. Oh man, that'd be so creepy. Really cool setting for a horror movie, obviously, but terrifying. Study my own transformation. I understand your hesitation, Alice. No kidding, you think, bud? No matter what the cost. Well, losing Sarah destroyed me. Yeah, I feel like that was his turning point in his backstory. But it also compelled me to find a solution. Oh my god, a solution to what? Bringing people back from the dead? Be surprised at the things you find when you go looking. Jeez and rice, the doctor's gone to the dark side. It smells like a grave. And there was a triangle drawn on the floor as well. Yep. This is creepy. And yeah, the ominous red glow of the flare. It's really gonna help you. It's gonna feel really good. It's You're doing right. real it's good. Right. It's gonna be real painless. It's gonna be okay in a second. I wouldn't trust this kid with freaking Tylenol. Oh my god, this is gonna end badly. It's gonna end so badly. Oh my god. Oh. Great. I'm not going in there. Look at me. That was the picture. Yeah, he had a photo of that as well. Oh my gosh. What's this? Was that his baby? And even the clouds look like a triangle. I feel like the doctor was somehow involved with his baby and not in a good way. They want to die, but I won't let them. Is that what he did to people? Oh my god. Tighter and tighter until finally it couldn't struggle anymore. Nature's futility. That's so horrible. This is the first real step. A true resurrection. He's taking fate into his own hands. Yeah, he's bringing people back. back. Richard, <laughs> please. Don't do this. How is he gonna bring her back, like, through her? What? What? What is that? Oh my god, there's so much of him. Oh my god. What? What? What's growing inside of her? Oh my god, is that his daughter? What the frick is happening? She's growing his- so many questions. Gosh, it's just like the human body. It's giving me like the thing flashbacks. Oh, that's a person. Oh my god. Grim. So grim. Glad I already had supper. Oh my god. Back at the house. Get on yourselves. <laughs> and to hear a baby crying in the background as well. Oh. It was a mistake. He knows something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm curious as to what this, like, the shaking... Oh my gosh. Whose voice is he hearing? He's in his head! He's in his head! <laughs> Who's standing there? Oh my gosh. He's losing his mind. Oh my 
god. Oh my god, you gotta stop doing that, bud. You're already dead. Keep just bashing his head into the pole. Well, that's an interesting shot. Right through the head. Yep, literally. Run, they're coming back to life. Well, that's okay. I don't ever need to sleep again. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's reminding me a little bit of like Silent Hill. Oh my god. I oh all those poor people were experimented on. That's horrible. Um, it's definitely not. This baby's goner. You gotta cut through so much. That's not a. Oh my god. This is intense. Why do they only use shotguns? You got two bullets, bud. Oh my god, why are they going backwards? Oh my god, nope. 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 Oh, oh. I... Bye! I mean, you probably weren't gonna make it anyway. Contortion man. Oh, oh god. Oh god, god, just... Bashing his head in. Save yourself, buddy. Please! Sorry, I can't. Please do this! <gasps> oh! Baby! Dr. Powell is a great man. I'm lucky to carry his child. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Fuck! <gasps> There's not many people left at this point. Yeah, and the red glow over everything is just making it even creepier. No shortage of blood though, that's for sure. This is a twisted movie. Oh my gosh. How did he end up in this house? What? Where did he go? This is your fault! Oh my god, oh! How did they even get here? What? You should have protected them! Oh! That's gonna hurt! Oh! And now they're back in the hospital? What is going on? I don't think she's gonna be our final girl. I think it's game over soon. Her survival skills are not great. Oh, man. He's not like, how are you nine months pregnant suddenly? I know your secret. I saw it in your face. Okay. Oh gosh, what? She's burnt? I saw relief. Oh my god, what is this thing? Allison's gone. Yep. This creature I thing. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Oh, to a horrible monster. Oh my god. So many tentacles and gooey webs and yep, it's gonna have to give her the chops. Oh my gosh. And that we don't get to, you know, hear what's happening, we know what's happening, and we don't see it. Like, we see his silhouette, obviously, but, I mean, I'm not heartbroken about not seeing that massacre, but... Oh my gosh. So grim. And he knows he has to, like, she'll just keep growing. Ugh. There are things much older, older than time, and they've blessed me. 
that's one way of putting it, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. Do not look back. I just need one final thing. Oh god. Oh my god. Literally stabbed him in the back. Oh my god. Nobody's making it out of here. Come join me. <laughs> that's a giant knife. She's just smiling, covered in blood, walking towards this triangle. Movie's getting weirder by the minute. Oh my god, where's his skin? The others have all gathered. That's Which so creepy. She's gonna be your daughter now? literally just moving this like rock oh my gosh that's a really cool shot though the way they framed it but cheese and rice oh my god oh my god it's like ripping her apart from the inside out oh it's her it's like a baby monster cry. Oh my god. What the frick is this? Those weren't human feet. Oh my god. Bye! Oh my god! Skull squash. Oh! This is just graphic, but I'm so curious at the same time. These monsters are not like anything I've ever seen before. So contorted with like parts that are human, parts that aren't. Ew! <laughs> Why is there just more of it? Oh god! He's gonna burn himself. Yeah. It's the only way. He knows. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this poor kid. Not enough therapy in the world, my friend. The trauma. <laughs> He's not gonna, like... Oh, good night. Did we even learn his name? The infinite astral workings. It's me. Is he like dissolving? What is happening here? Did he just like go up into the sky? I'm gonna need to look this up when I'm done. Oh my gosh. Oh, take that. This guy's a fighter. I can give Allison to you. He's gotta stop making these promises he can't keep. I mean, yeah, like at this point, do you keep fighting? Do you give up? I think he hates this guy enough to keep fighting. And knows that Allison's not coming back. Yeah, this is the end for you. Oh! What? They push, they go together. What? I thought he was just gonna push him in. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> now what? Like, where did they go? I was wondering if, like, the flickering was, like, an alternate dimension or something, because I've seen that before in, like, sci-fi movies. That's my prediction? I don't know. As the walls are literally closing in on this poor kid. Ooh! 
and now that whole thing is cut off. Yeah, infectious diseases. Oh my God. And a really good example of like a limited cast, you know, short timeline. This whole story happened over one night, basically. Few locations, but yeah, just a really compelling story. You don't need 500 different locations or cast members. Oh my god, this poor kid. Okay, I was completely wrong. She is our final girl. Oh, I'm the only two left alive. Is it over? Is it over? Yeah, and now it's like nothing happened. Like, obviously the carnage is still there, but where did the people in the white, you know, jackets go? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that triangle was a portal to another dimension, because obviously these two are fine. Like, he doesn't have the axe in his back anymore. Allison's there. Doesn't look very friendly. But, uh, here we are. I was like, that's how they're gonna end it, isn't it? Ah, frick. Prosthetics and creature effects artists. Okay, interesting. They were terrifying, but so well done. It's a long list, so that's good. Yeah, they would have needed a lot of help. I have a Sault Ste. Marie uh, hotel listed, yeah, Ontario, so I'm guessing this is a Canadian film. So that was my first time watching the 2016 film The Void, streaming on Tubi. I don't even know where to start with this one. I did really enjoy it, which I know might sound contradictory because it was lots of blood and gore and lots of weird elements, but I like weird movies and I think this is a really great example of... You know, you can get in, get out, tell your story, have really concise story points and have a really interesting concept. And, you know, I think what they did well was having this short timeline, like the whole movie takes place in 24 hours, 12 hours, even like just overnight, basically. And, you know, a small cast, I think with everybody, it was what, 10 people, eight people, something like that. You know, very few locations other than starting off at the house at the beginning, the entire movie takes place in the hospital and like the parking lot of the hospital. So if you've got a limited budget, you don't have to worry about different locations. You're, you know, using the majority of the same sets, like different areas in the hospital, obviously, but you can utilize your funds to the best means possible, which I think without a doubt went into those creatures. I'm very curious to find out how they did them, if it was CGI, if it was practical. Some of it looked pretty realistic, so I'm curious. And, you know, the makeup and some of those effects that they were doing and it's just very interesting. So I'm very curious to learn, you know, all that behind the scenes facts. I love all that stuff. And even if it is kind of gory and gross, like I love learning about that. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some research or let me know in the comments how they made some of those creatures. I thought the pacing was really good. The whole movie is like an hour and a half. Like, you know, they don't drag it on for another hour. Like they maybe could have made another half an hour longer, but it was just a really tight, you know, well-paced, like you're scared, you know, constantly. They did a good job with the timing and, you know, five seconds into the film, we have a body basically. Like I think the body count was at eight if I'm remembering correctly and you know there's someone on the floor and we see James running out the door and they you know they unalive somebody else in that house and you know boom okay we're in like you're hooked basically and we do see the triangle on the door of the house very early on but again you don't really know what that means and they don't really explain the cult like they don't really explain 
the backstory, James tells a little bit about his experience with them, saying that they were giving them drugs and like watching them sleep together. And, you know, he said it was like a nightmare, like he saw things and maybe he did, you know, go into another dimension. I feel like it's safe to say at the end of the film, you know, we have Daniel and Allison in another dimension, another universe, something like that. So maybe they were able to mentally do that because even a few times he said, you know, he's in his mind and... There was definitely some scenes that I was questioning what reality was. So maybe that's what they were able to do. Open a portal to other dimensions. Like we don't find out a ton about the cult. And I think that's cleverly done because you don't need all that backstory. I think it just would have gotten muddled. Like it was good to get some information, obviously. It wasn't completely ambiguous, but they don't spend an hour and a half explaining to you the cults. Like you, you find out a little bit and then you're more focused on, you know, the doctor and his story and where's that going to go and the people in the hospital trying to survive. So I think that we've obviously seen cults and horror movies before. And this I think was an interesting take. And again, it's, The gruesomeness and the gore is definitely there. This felt like a Cronenberg meets Carpenter film, something along those lines. And to have our, you know, the villains, everybody in these white outfits just standing there, I think is so creepy. And just again, with the black, you know, triangle on their mask, but they're not really doing anything. They're just standing there and like, oh, we see them attack a few people. But again, it's just those subtle movements that I think make it extra scary because it's more like, hey, what do you want? Like, do something something you know why are you just standing there and they could have gone into the hospital you know so many times but they wait till that third act you know before they finally move in and then you know it's mostly game over two people make it out alive well I mean I guess Allison and Daniel are alive as well but to have you know two of our main people that we started with in this reality make it out alive and Yeah, I I don't know if there are sequels or anything like that. Let me know in the comments. I know this is a relatively new film, but I'd be curious to see if they tried to pick it up, what that looks like. I did recognize one of the cast members. uh, He's from a TV show called Letter Kenny, which is about a small Canadian town in Ontario. So um, and I from that, I assumed it would be a Canadian because I didn't recognize any of the other cast members. And we did see in the credits that it was filmed in Ontario. So that's great. Uh, Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. But as a Canadian, I love watching, you know, Canadian films. And even just a symbol of a triangle, you know, isn't something your brain would think of to be terrifying. But obviously they've twisted that into something scary. And to have that be the marker, you know, of this cult, I think was interesting as well. Because it's easy to replicate, you know, they weren't trying to do some ancient ruins or something like that, that they then had to further explain. We see the triangle very, you know, thoroughly throughout the film. And then obviously at the end, when we have it be the doorway, basically this portal gateway to this other dimension as it's like this outline, you know, cut into stone. And the fact that the doctor was able to move that thing terrifying and I would assume that the doctor is also in that dimension then considering you know when Daniel jumped in he went with him but we didn't really see him at that last shot but maybe he died while they were you know on their way to the dimension I have no idea but yeah really interesting I think this film did a good job of showing how isolated the characters were. Also, we find out that this hospital is, you know, one, that it's moving. So it doesn't have all the supplies it normally does. Two, there was, you know, a fire in the basement. So again, it's like all these pieces, you're not going into an ideal situation. You know, it seems like they're kind of in the middle of nowhere also. Like he said, the next hospital, you know, was pretty far away. So just adding that isolation that there is no help coming. You're on your own. You have to make it. And we find out about the fire and the doctor's involvement with that as well but I wasn't expecting Maggie's baby to be the doctor's that was definitely a twist she was a character I thought was going to be pretty one-sided but they obviously gave her this little twist of you know clearly being aware of what the doctor was up to or had some knowledge of what the doctor was up to and it was impregnated by her also which was yeah super creepy which was clearly part of his plan for this experiment. He wants to bring his daughter back. And interesting to see how this doctor obviously processed his grief, you know, clearly very traumatized by what happened to his daughter. It looked like she was, you know, sick. We had that photo of her in the wheelchair and passed away. And basically since then, he's, his whole character has switched and he's just gone on the rampage to try and bring his daughter back. And he mentions he could bring her back several times, but nothing even remotely looking to his daughter 
came out of any of those attempts and it was just you could tell he's just like loves his daughter so much but you can't bring people back from the dead and that's what he was trying to do so much and clearly it was not happening and he also definitely wasn't human that shot of him you know with no skin on was just so creepy and so terrifying but again so well done I was excited to see the long list of names of special effects and makeup and prosthetics and everything like that in the credits. So I'm assuming most of this was done practically. Let me know, yeah, in the comments if they did use some CGI or what that looked like. But I feel like for those close-up scenes, they would have had to be practical because they looked so realistic and just their movements and everything seemed pretty real. So and definitely no shortage of blood and gore. It was just anywhere and everywhere. It was just, I can't even imagine how much blood, fake blood they used in this film because it was just insane. And one scene in particular that really sticks out in my mind is that scene where they go in and see all of like the doctor's failed experiments, basically, like just people on meat hooks, missing limbs and just... It almost reminded me of Silent Hill just because some of the creatures were so distorted and their faces burned and just horrible, horrible things that obviously happened to these people. This doctor is obviously playing God and is running rampant and just, you know, creating these experiments for his own free will, for his own personal gain and just, you know, that one contorted person backwards who's trying to walk and it was so creepy. But again, the creativity that I think goes into that, it wasn't just people under sheets or you know one or two creatures there was at least like 12 different experimented on people in that room and they were terrifying and you know missing their nose or missing this and just yeah I it is creepy as it is I appreciate the creativity that goes into the creating those monsters like they had some concept artists listed in the credits as well and I think you have to have a very, you know, intense imagination to come up with those. You've probably seen a lot of horror movies to draw some inspiration for those, but just so terrifying and the details and they also did a lot with the lighting of those you know strobe lights effects we had that one fluorescent light hanging early on in the film as Dan is approaching and you know at the end when they're trying to see everything in this room and trying to fight their way through it and can't really see where things are coming from and how many they are and you know also trying to see what they look like so it was just really intense but I think just a really well done horror film that you know has this sci-fi element and is just super gross if you don't like blood and guts this is not the film for you I feel like this is a film you could watch again and pick up on things that would make sense now that you know how it ends obviously like I feel like there was quite a few cryptic messages like I'm saying you know this isn't the end and kind of playing with maybe not time travel but you know different realities and different dimensions and we'd had a few shots where like the room kind of glitched and like it kind of went fuzzy for a second and you know in previous movies I've seen that's kind of an alternate reality like that's kind of what they're trying to signal to the audience is something is disjointed and I definitely feel like that's what they were trying to say in this as well. And we have that shot of, you know, even when Dan sees Allison on the table, to him it looks like how she normally looks. And, you know, there he's like, hold my hand and having this sweet moment. And then, of course, it cuts back and we see the reality of what it actually looks like. And just tentacles and all these, you know, monstrous creature things coming out of her belly. And she's, you know, not alive. And... When we have those two guys, you know, running through the basement of the hospital and then they're suddenly in somebody's house. Like there's family pictures on the wall and, you know, it's like, okay, how did we get here? And the one guy was just kind of standing, you know, muttering to himself like he was stuck in a loop, like stuck on repeat. And, you know, then they're right back in the hospital. I'm just like, okay, if that would have been a cool set to see because I'm assuming it would have been attached so they could just film it as one sequence. Maybe there was some cuts in there, but it looked pretty seamless and... Yeah, and then they're right back to where they left. And we do find out a little bit about Dan's backstory and Allison. You know, it sounds like they were together and unfortunately they'd lost a child. And also, you know, the doctor had lost a child. And that's what kind of fueled this whole storyline of him of being involved with this cult and having these disciples who are going to worship him. And he's like, oh, I just need one more thing and then I'll get my daughter back. Like just so fixated on trying to bring his daughter back, which we know is not possible. 
but clearly just can't process the grief and can't process, you know, what that looks like. And him coming back to life was definitely unexpected as well. And when we had Beverly, one of the nurses, you know, that was kind of our first introduction to these creatures. Is they just go right for the eyes as well, which is always grosses me out. To see the monster, like this creature form on her back and she still had, you know, her legs and her arms and it was growing out of her neck and her back was just so creepy. But to be able to still see like a piece of her human form I think just amplified the connection that this was a person and now it's become this like it was harder to separate and to see Daniel you know chop up Allison or what he or what's become of Allison basically because he knows it's gonna try and come back to life it's just gonna keep growing and growing like it's just such a heartbreaking scene and you know Daniel had no idea what was gonna happen when he pushed the doctor, you know, into that portal and, you know, here we are and he was just, you know, sacrificing himself trying to take out the doctor and his evil plan. Overall, I really enjoyed it. A really cool set really interesting concept. I think they did a great job of, again, a short timeline, a small cast, a few locations, but just really focusing on spending the money where it counts with, you know, the effects of the monsters and the creatures and just having this really, you know, gut punch of a story and making the audience question reality, but not overdoing it at the same time. And I really liked the performances. You know, I didn't recognize all the cast, but I thought everybody was great in their role. Let me know in the comments if there are sequels, if you think I should watch those as well. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. And there was a triangle drawn on the floor. So many tentacles and gooey webs and yep, it's gonna have to give her the chops. Is he like dissolving? It's like nothing happened. Like obviously the carnage is still there. Oh, her face is missing. Thrown like completely on her back. Like she still has her human form. Oh my God, where's his skin?